In this video, we will learn the use of trim surface. We use trim surface to cut away or trim away a portion of any created design or surface in this case. So let's say we have a design a rectangle and let's extrude the surface. Okay, and let's say we create another plane. Okay, and let's extrude this as well. Let's say we can do multiple things. One is cut away everything but this upper portions of it so that we have a bottom portion where we have this curvature design and we also block this uh, surface so that it's closed. So if you select this trim surface option, you will have the trim tool and the option to either keep a selection or remove a selection. In this case, let's say we select the remove selection option. So for the trim tool, we will use this as a base. And at first, we want to cut away the extension portion, which is this one. Okay, so let's select this, click OK, and it will be cut away. Again, if you go to the trim surface, we can do the other way around also. So for the trim tool, we can select this and it will divide the whole thing into two portions, the upper part and the bottom part. Let's say uh, we have already seen the example for remove selection. Let's go for the keep selection. So whichever we're gonna select will remain and the other portion will be deleted. So if you've selected the upper portion, click OK. And it is the only thing that we left and it is also closed surface. In any other case, if you want to also close this top portion, you can select this option called the planar surface and select the boundary edges. And it will close that surface also. Just to make sure that it is what we mentioned, as you can see, in the section view, everything is hollow inside and the top and bottom portion has been covered.